We're told that Alan has decided to paint his bedroom walls as a ceiling. His room is 300 centimeter wide, 320 centimeters long, and 275 centimeters high. Calculate the total surface area of the walls and ceiling of the room. So there's a little bit going on here. First of all, what is surface area? We need to find the area of all of the shapes. And then you add them all together. So we have a 3D shape. We have a cube. Or like a cuboid. Because it's not entirely uniform. So I'll draw a little sketch of a cube here. And what do we know? We know that it's 300 centimeters wide. So I'm going to go like this side is 300 here. 320 long. And then 275 high. And we want to calculate the total surface area of the walls and ceiling. So we're not going to use the floor. So we just need to be mindful of that. How do you find surface area? We want to use the shapes. So one shape here I can see straight away is this front square, which is going to be a rectangle. It's going to be 300 by 275, the width by the height. And then we have this one here, which would be, let me kind of sketch it out in the way it is. It's 320 and 275. And then we'll have the ceiling one, which is 300 and 320. And so we have three different cubes. We can find the area of each. 300 by 320 is going to be 96,000 centimeters squared in here. 300 by 275 is 82,500. And then 275 by 320 is 88,000. We're not done though. We can't just add these three up together and, and be done because how many of each one is there? Well, there's only one ceiling. That's fine. There's one at the top. We're going to be one ceiling, but there's four walls. There's two of each. And so it's going to be the 96,000 plus two times 82,500 plus two times 88,000 like that. That will give you your full answer. We do that on our calculator and we are going to get two times 88,000 equals 420, 437,000 centimeters squared. Then it asks for the nearest meter squared. And so this is another little bit of a kind of a challenge here. Centimeters equals, or kind of 100 centimeters equals one meter. But if we want to convert centimeters squared to meter squared, we need to square this. And so what is 100 squared? It's 10,000 centimeters squared equals one meter squared. So we're going to divide this by 10 thousand and that will give us 43.7 meters squared so hopefully that kind of makes sense how do you find the surface area you want to find the area of all of the individual sides in the shape and then how do you convert between centimeters squared and meters squared you're going to square 100 to tell you how many centimeters squared in a meter squared and that will give you 10,000 and so we have 437,000 centimeters squared we're going to divide by 10,000 get meters squared. Then the second kind of last part of this type of question was Alan has purchased a roller for painting. He wants to determine what area one rotation of the roller will cover. The roller has a diameter of 10 centimeters and a length of 35. A roller, in case you kind of don't aren't aware, looks like this. And then this bit gets covered in paint and you roll it onto your wall like that. So it has a length of 35 centimeters. So this bit here is 35 and a diameter of 10. That across is 10. Calculate the area that one rotation will cover. Well, if we look at page, I think it's 10 in the log book, you're gonna see the, the area A of a cylinder is two pi or H, or is gonna be half the diameter, which is five. H, we're told, is 35. And so we're going to have 2 pi times 5 times 35. And it's to the nearest whole number. So we're going to go 2, multiply by pi, multiply by 5, multiply by 35. And that is going to give us 
A equals approximately 1,100 centimeters. And again, we're talking about area, and so it's going to be centimeters. 